My name is Nathan McMinn, technical consultant with Alfresco and author of the Jasper Reports CMIS extension. This screencast will provide a basic overview of the features of the Jasper Reports CMIS extension and how it can be used in both iReports and custom applications that use Jasper Reports. The Jasper Reports CMIS extension consists of several components designed to enable querying a CMIS compliant repository and using both document metadata and content in the generated reports. The current version of the CMIS extension includes a data source and data source factory for use in Java applications that use Jasper reports, as well as a query executor and fields provider that make it easy to work with CMIS data from within the iReports designer. The Jasper reports CMIS extension is delivered as a jar file that can be added to the class path of your application or to the iReports environment. Let's take a look at the extension and how it can be used to retrieve data from a CMIS compliant repository and use the results in a report template. For the purpose of this screencast, I have set up a fictitious company called Open Source Widgets. Open Source Widgets uses Alfresco to store information about their products, shown here. Each product has a set of associated metadata, such as the product ID, product name, and price. Alfresco provides a seamless interface that can be used to query these content items. Just like SQL, the first step in developing a report against CMIS data is the creation of a query. My preferred tool for developing and testing CMIS queries is the Apache Chemistry CMIS Workbench. Here we can see a view of the CMIS Workbench and my sample query. <clears throat> this query will select all content items of the type OSW colon product. Click Query to execute the query and confirm the results. Now that we have a working query, let's take a look at how to use this in iReports to populate a report. In order to use this extension in iReports, the extension jar and dependencies must be added to the class path and the query executor and fields provider must be configured. A full user guide is coming soon. Please check the Google Code project page for details. Once the extension is installed, we can configure our report template to use our new query type. As seen in my sample report template, the first step is to add the required CMIS URL, user, password, and query parameters. After these parameters are in place, we can use the query editor to get the fields for our report. Select Edit Query to view the query designer. Make sure that the query language is set to CMIS, enter the query, and click Read Fields to get the list of fields for the report. All of the document properties exposed by CMIS are available. Note that there is one additional field available, JR CMIS colon content stream. This is a special field added by the extension that allows embedding the actual CMIS content stream in the report. Image and text data are currently supported with more to follow. Now, close the report to the query designer and go back to the report template. Note that all of the available document fields have been added to the report inspector for easy drag and drop to the template. For the purpose of this demo, I have already created a simple template that will output one row for each product in our simple sample query. This report will display some document properties and embed the product image. Click Preview to compile and fill the report. We can now see our generated report in the preview pane, complete with the product image and all of the selected metadata values. That about wraps up the Jasper Report CMIS extension demo. Planned enhancements to this project include exposing associated documents through CMIS relationships, retrieval and embedding of specific content renditions, and integration with Alfresco's cloud API. The project is hosted on Google Code, where you can find our issue tracker, package downloads, and of course, the full source code. Happy coding!